I'm calling out all the parents. If you're a parent and your child is in pre-K to elementary school, elementary school to high school, I'm calling you out. The children today, I have never experienced, and I'm, I'm 22. Having to teach and work with you guys as children has been the most traumatic experience of my life. I teach five-year-olds ballet, five-year-old girls ballet. I have a class of 10 students. They don't respect any authority. You ask them, can you stand in your designated spot? They're telling you no and shut up. They're throwing things at each other. They're throwing things at other people, other classmates. You say, can everybody sit in their spot? I don't want to, I'm not doing that. You don't get to tell me what to do. You're not my mom. You confront the parent. The parent tries to argue with you and fuss at you because you tried to reprimand and redirect their kid. I told a young little girl, please sit in your spot. You're not my mom, you don't tell me what to do. Okay. When her mom came to pick her up, I said, hey, your daughter's having a hard time following instructions. And seven times today, I've had to redirect her to just sit in her spot. Well, clearly she didn't want to sit, and mind you, this is a mom. Clearly she didn't want to fucking sit right there. So, I mean, if she's telling you she don't want to do something, why keep asking her to do it? You know she's not going to do it. What world do we live in? Like, what in you guys' brain as a parent says, hmm, my kid not following any directions is a, is a great thing. It's not that serious. And y'all don't have a right to tell her what to do. It's sad. It's sad. It's really, really sad. And another thing that's heart-wrenching is horrifying. It is horrifying. Your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to Pound Town and Ski Yee. Your daughters, your five-year-old daughters are asking, can we hear Pound Town? I'm playing them Princess Tiana ballet music. And they are asking me, can we hear Pound Town? So th that, this is just a snippet of a very long video. I think the video is like 10 minutes long. And, you know, this woman is a ballet teacher. So she is talking about, you know, young girls that come to her ballet class and the problems that she has, you know, with them. And in the end of the video, she was asking, you know, what is the resolve? Like, what is going to be the next step? Like, what can what can we do to change this? And, you know, first thing I wanted to address was the fact that the reason why these things are happening is because there are a lot of children having children. That's the first problem. The first issues is that there's a lot of babies having babies. So they're growing up right along with the child. They don't know, you know, the, the first, you know, point to start to tell you the right thing to do when it comes to raising a child. Most of the time, you know, the only time that they have is at night, you know, dinner time, bedtime, maybe on the weekend. You know, most of the time it's the mama raising the child. You know, the, 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 if it is the mother, she is making TikToks with her child, trying to be cool, trying to be the next viral sensation. At the demise of her child. And it's so funny because, you know, to hear this younger woman, you know, complaining or, or trying to, you know, set the tone to set the standard about this situation is so interesting because, you know, in her generation, a lot of her her peers that are maybe this a couple years her senior are these same parents. And what's interesting is that a lot of these women are the same women I talk about here on this platform. It's all a big circle. You know, there's so many people who ask like, oh, you know, why do you guys talk about relationships all the time? You know, why is it this and why is it that? You know, why can't we talk about anything else? You know, why is it always? Because that is literally the center of where all of the either the positivity or the destruction stems from. Because interestingly enough, you know, the woman who does not want to make the man a sandwich, the woman who does not want to be submissive to a man, the woman who thinks that she can conquer all, you know, it's very interesting because majority of those same women, when it comes to having or setting a tone or setting a standard for their children, 
They are the ones that are at the forefront of manipulation. I'm just keeping it real. This is from my observation. You know, the selfish nature that they have in relationships they also have when raising their children. They act like their children are a burden to them. Like, it's a problem. Like, oh, my gosh, you need something else. Why are you always calling my name? The iPad don't work. Go turn on TV. Go turn on, you know, women's Rachel at so she can raise you. Get out my face. I need space. I'm overstimulated. I'm overtouched. That's why I always say, you know, energy is very much connected. The same energy that it takes for you to tell your child that you don't need their daddy around and you got it and you big and you back and you bold. And, you know, that same arrogance and that ego that you're walking around with as a woman, you know, making it seem like you got all everything figured out. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Can't nobody right your wrong. Can't nobody humble you or put you in your place. That's the same way you're raising your child. Like you want the cycle to repeat itself. I don't see a, a great vast of women who want their children to be better than them. They want to raise the child and compete with the child. So they can still be, you know, hot and hip. Be the homegirl out in the club with them. You're teaching your child, you know, to, uh, to not be able to take correction or direction. And you're saying that they should only rely on you, not understanding that that's going to backfire on you. Now you in the house talking about, oh, you know, somebody needs to come get this little girl because she don't listen. I don't know who she thinks she's talking to. She ain't grown, but you make her believe that she is. You give her a job to, you know, try to make you go viral on TikTok. You dress these little girls in these grown women clothes. Push them to the forefront at a very young age. You think it's funny? You post videos of them twerking and all this kind of stuff. You think it's cute. It's not cute. And by doing that, whatever you think that you're going to attract by doing so, you are. There's so many women, and you know, it's not just in this age bracket of younger girls. I mean, this is where it's stemming from. But we, there's a lot of women out there, okay? And I just got to keep it real with you. A lot of women are raising their daughters out of, um, you know, being that they are either, uh, you know, not in, in, in a certain positive relationship with their daughter's father or or whatever the situation is, they are purposely raising these girls up fast to try to prove something or try to make it backfire to the father. Oh, you see what happened? You know, we ain't together and stuff like that, so I'm just raising her the best I could. You know, I'm a single mom. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. You purposely are putting your daughter out there. Purposely giving her the wrong advice. Purposely turning a blind eye, letting her go down the path of ways that she could have easily avoid. Just because you and her daddy ain't together, y'all ain't got no, you know, good relationship and you trying to prove. You trying to get back at him. And you know, anything that you do can't hurt him. So you got to use his prized possession. Steer his child down the wrong path. Fast. We got to keep it real. A lot of y'all not doing that. A lot of y'all are, you know, you have this facade, you know, you paint these, these pictures on social media and you pretend that, you know, this is, you know, you're just this exemplary, you know, figure in your child's life and that you stand for all of these things. Meanwhile, when we see the behaviors and the actions, it's lining up with children who are raising themselves. Re being raised by their friends because you're so busy either trying to compete with people on social media who are not even checking for you. You're so busy trying to compete with your ex who's living their life 
and you watching their every move trying to, you know, trying to overcome it. You so busy chasing down these coins to try to prove to whoever it is that you're trying to prove that you a boss chick. You trying to, you know, prove to your friends on social media, whoever. You so busy trying to be the, 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 the image that your real life is crumbling. Again, your daughters are, you know, five years old, six years old, seven years old, out of control. Unfortunately, a, a lot of times they end up in very, uh, you know, taxing situations based off this lifestyle. Now, they're going to have some trauma that they're going to have to deal with. Because you was focused on everything else in, in, the, in the picture, in the image instead of the reality. Now they have more healing to do because you weren't there to help them and to guide them and to aid them. And again, it's a lot of babies having babies and it's a lot of immature grown women as well. They don't know nothing. A lot of young girls, you know, don't, nothing, don't know nothing about hygiene, nothing. Because you're so busy looking and watching everything else. Than your own children. Children are not accessories. It's not like a purse. It's not like a pair of shoes. They're not props. They're human beings that need direction. Protection. They need you to watch them. Lead them. Guide them. And if we want to tell the truth, a lot of these women, you know, y'all was so quick to set, talk about you don't need a daddy around and you could do better by yourself and you snatched them away from their daddy or whatever. If, if the truth be told, they was better off with their father. Statistics have shown that children who grow up with it, just their father are no different than children growing up in two parent households. The only difference we see is when children are raised solely by their mothers. That's when we see the disconnect. That's not me saying that. That's statistics. I, I definitely feel this young woman's pain. I definitely feel her pain. Um, and, you know, again, this is one of the reasons why I sit here and I have these conversations. Because those little girls grow up. And again, worse, if they look, you know, left, right, and center, and they see no other way, they believe that this is the only way. You know, being dysfunctional, being disrespectful, being rude, being catty, you know, not being able to control themselves or control their emotions, you know, just, just acting out. Feeling like they know everything, you know, their way of the highway, nobody can't control them, nobody can't tame them, nobody can't handle them, they grow up. And perpetuate the cycle, and perpetuate the cycle, and perpetuate the cycle, and it keeps on going. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.